Well, as part of No Labels, we actually have uh, and are in the process of formalizing it in a, in a deeper way, but a national strategic agenda. Uh, and, and it has several components, one of which is to look at energy independence um, in, in the coming decade. And uh, that's going to take a lot of different approaches. I, I happen to also serve on the Agriculture Committee where um, I have been a proponent of looking for new biofuel resources. Um, I've, I've also, uh, we also happen to be home right here in the 17th Congressional District of the largest agricultural research lab in the country. It's, it's uh, right in Peoria, right down the road. And uh, so I, I think we have to look at all of that. If we're, if we're truly going to uh, become energy independent in the next decade or the next two decades, uh, it's going to have to take, you know, you've heard the term, the any and all approach. Um, but it's, it's truly going to take a bipartisan effort and, and for the life of me I cannot figure out why there are party lines attached to something like this where it is in, it, I, I don't know whose interest it is not in to, to go after that goal. Um, we have to balance um, uh, you know, our, our economy uh, with making sure that we look after the environment and look at how we are going to achieve this, this um, energy independence in, in the years to come. Um, you know, they're, they're, these are not simple answers uh, by any means, and it's, it, it's not a unilateral approach that, that we, would, we would take either. But um, I've made a practice, I've been in, in Congress for 17 months now, and I've made it a practice in pretty much every bill I introduce uh, to reach across party lines, because I know serving in the minority party uh, the way I'm going to have success with legislation is to, to go across um, and find co-sponsors of my legislation that uh, we, can, we can carry on both sides of the aisle, and this is no different from that.